Deb here, and this is a very special episode of Deb's Doll Room. I am not wearing my Star Wars hair because it's just about Mark Hamill. On September 25th, Mark Hamill will be 70 years old. I know, Luke Skywalker is 70. And I have been a fan of Mark Hamill's since 1972 when he was Kent Murray, Murray on General Hospital. He played Jesse Brewer's nephew, I believe. His nephew, yeah. Anyway, I love him. Right from the start, I thought this man is so special and I wasn't wrong. Um, from that point on, I started going through the TV guide and every time his name showed up, I watched the show. So I thought I'd feature some of my Luke Skywalker dolls. Um, you've seen a lot of them and if you want to look back on my Star Wars playlist, you'll see a lot. But here's some you haven't, I don't think you've seen. I know you haven't seen this one because I got him recently. This is from the, I believe, the original. Uh, the, cl the clothes are not original, but the doll is. I'm pretty sure he's marked 1978, and the movie was 77, so. Um, and I bought these cl these this outfit later. Unfortunately, the boots don't fit, so must have been meant for another L Luke Skywalker doll. But anyway, there he is. And it's kind of close to what he looked like in the original. And I'm really happy to have this doll. <laughs> the other dolls I want to show um, are kind of what I call drugstore dolls because they're not, I'm not sure collectors, Star Wars collectors probably want them. Doll collectors may be more picky. I love them. So there he is with his hand missing. And then these are all one piece, um, and it's marked uh, manufactured by Out of Character in 1993, this one is. And then this, the next two are dolls by Applause, I believe. There he is with Yoda on the back. Oh, I love Star Wars movies. And I've told in my other videos, here's, here's the back, $5.99 is what I paid. I don't know where I got it. Skywalker and Yoda. That's a pretty good likeness of Yoda too, isn't it? And then we've got this one. I don't know if he has the wrong tag. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he has the wrong tag. Because it's all about Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Maybe I just put it on the wrong. Yeah, that could be. At any rate, here he is and his lightsaber. I never took it out. One moment. Oh boy, that's. I wish I had the powers of the force. I would have just levitated that. Okay. And that's the helmet. Remember when he put that down? The blast shield. And then uh, Obi Wan showed him how to feel the force. And that's how he. I love that scene. Kind of summed everything else up the teacher, the student. And then there's Han saying his usual Han stuff. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about Mark Hamill because he's one of my favorite subjects. Um, okay, after General Hospital, and I looked through all the TV guides and saw anything he was on, one of the best guest stars, he did, I think, I don't know how many, but one of the best performances was on a show I don't know if you remember it's called The Magician by with Bill Bixby as the star 
he was a traumatized young man and just ripped your heart out. He was so good. Then he went out and he did a TV series uh, called Texas Wheelers. All I, Texas Wheelers must have not been on here. I knew about it, but I never saw it. And as I said, I go through the TV guide and, and I would have watched it. I did have his picture in my school locker in his cowboy hat from the series. And he became a teen idol. So, and deservedly so. You don't get any cuter than Mark Hamill. And then um, after Texas Wheelers, he did a lot of guest stars. And then, uh, oh, what was that? It was a show. Oh, it was a Dr. Doc something. I can't remember. But anyway, I, sh I, I digress. Okay. Then he was, um, he, he played the oldest uh, son on Eight is Enough. In, in the, I guess the pilot, but then uh, he was in a car accident, a very serious car accident in January of 77. He'd already filmed most of Star Wars when he was in the accident. I, and uh, I know, I read that he was at the uh, premiere and he had a bandage on his nose and a little boy kind of looked at him like, what? And he just told him, well, you can get a little too close to us, lightsaber. Mark Hamill has been so good to his fans. So good. And he considers how they feel. I think he's a great person. Could you tell? <laughs> anyway, um, so eight is enough. They recast Grant Goodeve, I think. And then he was free to do what he wanted to do. So rough way to go about it, but <laughs> uh, let's see. He, he was a Navy kid, um, one of seven children. I know he's a Beatle maniac, another reason I love him. Um, let's see, what else did I want to tell you? I knew when I, when I was reading about him in teen magazines and it said he loved Famous Monsters of Filmland, well, that's a staple in our home. And I thought, this is a cool, he just gets more and more cool. And then when he, I heard that when he signed to do Star Wars, that he negotiated salary for merchandising. <laughs> if that's true, he probably never had to work again. So, and I wouldn't be surprised because he would know how to merchandise science fiction movies because he was a big fan. So, uh, let's see, what else I want to tell you? He married a dental hygienist named Mary Lou in 1978 and they are still married. I I love the fact that he breaks all these stereotypes. He could have been stereotyped as a, a soap actor, a teen idol, or a sci-fi actor. All three kind of get you uh, stereotyped, but he just went on doing what he wanted to do. Of course, he could do all kinds of voices. He has been in, uh, I wrote this down because my brother said a long time ago, I think Mark Hamill's been in all the Star Wars movies in some form or another. And he was a droid's voice in hmm, that episode one. What was it called? <sighs> okay, and he was in also in um, 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 the Solo movie and Rogue One, but he was his credit was as either William Patrick or Patrick Williams. He used both apparently. So he was in a lot more than we even knew. He was in a movie, a TV show called Amazing Stories. Again, I was going through the TV guide, it was in the 80s. And I thought, oh, Mark Hamill's on. So I watched it and I was mad because he wasn't on it. And then I'm watching the credits roll off and he was on it. It's just he was so heavily made up and he completely changed his voice. That's the first time I realized how good he was at changing his voice. He can imitate so many people. He could have made a career. Well, he has. He's a voice actor, too. He also writes comic books. Um, let's see. Let's see. You know how I cheat. Oh, this made me so mad. Because then he did stage work. Elephant Man. And then he was in Amadeus. And then when they were going to make the movie of Amadeus, 
he auditioned for the role. He shouldn't have even had to audition, but he did. And they said, no, we don't want Luke Skywalker in that movie. So I've never seen that movie, and I never intend to. How dare they? You're not going to get a better actor than Mark Hamill. Just because he makes it look easy, they don't realize how good he was. David Jansen and James Garner, they could do that too. It's just some actors don't get credit because they're so natural. Okay, let's see. Oh, he went to Edgar Allan Poe Middle School. Is that the coolest name for a school? Especially if you like monster movies, which he was a big fan. Um, let's see. Last Jedi was where he was the voice of a, a droid. Um, I think that's everything I wanted. Oh, if you get a chance, there's a movie he made in 1999. It's called Walking Across Egypt. And he's not got a big part, but it's such an amazing transformation. He's a small town sheriff, kind of naive. Uh, Ellen Burstyn, I believe, is the star, and I, it's a great, sh great movie, and he does a great job in it. Oh, um, let's see. I don't want to forget anything, because in case you haven't caught on, he's one of my favorite actors, one of my favorite human, be human beings. I've never met him. I don't know how I ever will, but I was hoping to get to my channel be so big <laughs> that that it would word would get out. Hey, this person really loves Mark Hamill, and maybe he would see it. But that didn't exactly happen. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm still doing my tribute to Mark Hamill, who turns seventy on September twenty fifth. I always watch Old Scrap Mouth, a uh, episode of the Partridge Family, on September twenty fifth, because he was the guest star. And that's also the anniversary when the Partridge family premieres. So it's a big day, big day in Deb world, <laughs> September 25th. I hope you liked my little tribute to my hero. And I hope you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And check out my other Star Wars videos because I've done several. Some of them aren't as good as others because I was just getting started and but I love my Star Wars. It's the movie I've seen the most. I, I know it's over 30 times, the, the original episode four. I like them all, but that's my favorite. So, okay. Thanks for um, sharing my little celebration of Mark Hamill and the multi-talented man and a really good guy too, I think. Okay, thanks for watching. Toodles.